Uh, today I would like to talk something about an astonishing fact that everybody would like to understand, would like to know, would like to research in and that is the word dream. Have you ever had dreams? What kind of dreams? Is it a serial dream? Is it a nightmarish dream? Or a lucid dream? Does it reflect your real life? Do you predict anything out of it? Do you like to have or don't want to have the same dream again and again? Do dreams have any results? Do you think that bad dreams have good results or good ones? So many questions. Have you ever tried to find answer to any one of them? Now we shall try to find some of these answers. Again and again I would like to take uh, the research that has been on this kind of word dream by Sigmund Freud who found so many astonishing facts and analyzed the dreams in his famous magnum opus interpreting dreams. If at all you understand the normal definition of a dictionary of the word dreams say for example layman's dictionary common man's dictionary as far as the word dream is connected it is said to be series of thoughts images and some sensational things occurring in one's sleep freud looked at it in a different way he found of course astonishing facts but before that let us see there are numerous instances about dreams in history the character frankenstein hope you know him got a walking dream Albert Einstein refers to a dream in talking about his theory of relativity. In the Bible, Pharaoh was said to be experiencing the same dream for around two years. Let us find out answer to all these questions from the same psychologist, scientist, the great Sigmund Freud. Of course, he can't answer now because he answered all these in his book, interpreting dreams let us find some answers to these questions but before all this what one has to understand is the mind you should first understand what is mind according to freud there are three aspects of mind id ego and super ego do we see all hidden in the brain is mind an iceberg yes According to Freud, mind looks like an iceberg. You can't see all of it. You can see only a part of it. The remaining part of it is hidden. These hidden areas of brain, he called them parts of mind. It is usually unconscious level of the mind. Ego is developed during infancy out of the id. And superego is something which is developed in early childhood. These words are usually very surprising to read and surprising to know by a common man. Sigmund Freud spent almost 40 years of his life in understanding what is dream and how are they going to affect the person's life. And he also wanted to know that other people should understand whether dreams affect the people's life or not. There are so many aspects like timing of the dreams, there are so many aspects about the facts of dreams and we also should understand whether we dream consciously or when we dream unconsciously. For example, in a dream that is of course identified by Freud, the unconscious mind works. All dreams are a kind of wish fulfillment of our suppressed wishes that could not be done in real life. These repressed ones dwell in the unconscious mind. During a dream, according to Freud, these wishes become part of the conscious mind. In his dream, Freud feels that his patient's Irman's ill health and his inability to cure are not his fault, but the fault of a firm faculty that he used a syringe by the other doctor and his wish is fulfilled because he felt that the fault of not curing that lady is not his fault, but it is somebody else. So his 
wish fulfilled in his dream and he went on curing that lady freud uh, wanted to use dreams to cure people he strongly believed that dreams are a person's deepest unconscious wishes and desires his interpretation of dreams is not as simple as i am talking about it but much more serious much more complex the excellent book gives lots of interesting amazing and astonishing facts about dreams do not dream good but dream bad bad dreams have good results after so much of research freud came out with this one he also found so many types of dreams according to him and according to many people the most common di- dreams that one gets are especially falling from a high place you never touch the ground and the second one is digging for gold or for treasure or for coins third one is you are chased and fourth one is usually we are late to something or we are late to a place or especially we are late to an exam and the fifth one is flying and driving an uncontrollable vehicle when we talk about the timing of the dreams throughout the night we dream but when do we get the dream is it the first quarter of the night that is one and a half hour or is it the second quarter of the night that is about 2 hours after that the third quarter symbolizes about another 2 hours in the night and fourth quarter of the night overlaps with the dawn of course that is the early morning it is said that the effects of the dreams depend on the timing of the dreams you get for example if i tell you get a dream in the first quarter of the night the result may be after 1 year after 10 years and as you go on getting the dreams in the second third fourth quarter then the effect is instantaneous for example if i tell you to get a dream in the fourth quarter of the night that usual overlaps in the dawn the effect is instantaneous that's the reason many people say that dreams that we get in the early in the morning would come true of course every dream comes true according to sigmund freud but the dreams that we get early in the morning would come true instantaneously that's the reason we come to know the scientific study of these dreams is usually called oneirology and all the dreams usually depend on the person and also the rapid eye movement usually dream time is rem that is rapid eye movement there are so many astonishing facts about dream and i would like to come out with uh, so many scientific facts about dream in the next video but to end i would like to tell some more facts you can't read while dreaming or tell the time blind people dream too 60% of the dreams we don't remember in your dreams you see only faces that you know you can't see the other faces that you do not know not everyone dreams in color remember while snoring you can't dream thank you